Hi folks, so most of us when we look at cutting boards and mixing balls, we don't automatically jump to conclusion and say, you know what, this is a setup for down photography. Most of us probably think we're going to chop up some vegetables and make a nice salad. However, if you take things like this, a fairly thin and translucent cutting board and a nice reflective white mixing ball, you can combine these two things together with the addition of some other things and create a fairly nice and soft light source for dental tabletop photography. So in my case, I went to my local Walmart and I picked up this uh, semi-translucent cutting board for about a dollar and this plastic mixing bowl for about three bucks. So this mixing bowl is going to be my reflector. So I'm going to take my flash and I'm going to shine it into my bowl and the light's going to bounce all around that bowl and pass through the diffuser, aka cutting board, that's sitting right in front of my bowl right here. And to make things a little bit easier, I took some PVC pipe and made a little frame. You don't have to do that. You can just rig something up with, I don't know, clamps or clothing pins, whatever you want to use. I did this. So the bowl fits right into here. We're going to take our flash. I'm going to put it in there. My flash is set to TTL mode. You can use them on manual mode. You can use expensive flashes. You can use cheap flashes, it's all up to you. Okay, so we got that in there. We're gonna put our diffuser right in front of it, nice and closed, and we're gonna turn it about 45 degrees, just like that. And I have another one here that I've just made up that I'm also going to put 45 degrees. So if we don't count the flashes, this whole setup is probably going to cost you, I wanna say probably about 10 bucks, maybe just a little bit more, or maybe even less, okay? So we're going to take our acrylic table, which you don't have to use. You can just use something else. And I got just a piece of construction paper sitting right on top. And I'll put my denture right on here, making sure I got my lights at 45 degrees. Okay. I'm going to grab my camera and everything set to TTL in this particular case. I'm going to focus and take a picture. And if you look right here, just by using this, you get a fairly nice shot of your work or crown and bridge work or maybe a dental model. So a fairly inexpensive setup just like this is going to work pretty much great, uh, great for um, a photographer that's starting out or somebody who's been doing it for a while. Just because it's a DIY setup doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. So if you're interested, go ahead and build it. And as always, good luck.